Hey, 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 good evening time, everybody. Please take time to like, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already. Join our membership, uh, all those good things. All righty, guys, what we're fixing to do here is we're going to do some pill strips for the 64 pill for the good time, Charlie. 64 pill. Uh, let me find my glasses. I just thought y'all might want to see some of this. I don't know. We'll do some pill strips. I can show you what it looks like when I set them in there after we get done. But let's just see what they turn out to look like. Now, I know I don't have one of them fancy things like some of these guys do. Like old Rainmaker and uh, uh, Free Made. I'm having to freehand mine. They still look pretty good. What I did is I laid them down there and marked them all first. And then I cut them. It's not as perfect as a jig, but it gets the job done. Before we get done, I'll take the phone off and show you what it looks like. Now I'm not doing this live. My internet's too choppy. So I'll just do this and then I'll keep working and while we put up a, another video, we can do another video. I used to didn't do this and it really don't matter. You don't have to, but I think it makes it prettier because you don't have to put as much solder on the transistors. Or you ain't got to sit there and lay down on them as hot neither. You can do them quicker. But we got this 16 pill section. We got four 16 pill sections. So we got eight strips to do. I know some of you guys want to see some stuff on the 64 pill, you told me. So we might do some short videos. I'm probably not going to do it all because the videos will be too long. But I can do some of it here and there. We can do some of uh, pill strips. We might set it up here and do some transformers. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do as we go. Like I said, it won't all be on there, but I might be able to do a bunch of it for you guys. If you guys want to see it, I mean, it's up to y'all. Let me know. If you don't want to see it, we, we don't have to do it. I've never done work live on the internet before, uh, besides a repair. I kind of decided to do some of this and let y'all see what's going on. I know there's been some controversy out there about all oh, this is wrong and that's wrong and this is wrong i seen the video a little bit of it i didn't watch it all everybody just messaged me about one gentleman made a video about a four pill that i did a long time ago and he said it was brand new and never worked and all that well i'm gonna tell you something guys look at the switch on the front of it <laughs> i said i want to talk about this but i will look at the switch on the front of it i hadn't used a regular toggle switch on my base boxes in three or four years so but, you know, so as far as I'm concerned, if that box is just now tore up, it's done pretty good. It's four or five year old. But he said it was brand new. Nobody had ever used it. You go back and watch my videos and look the last time, try to find the last time I used a toggle switch instead of a, a breaker on and off. It's way on back yonder. There's a video for that build that he's got. I don't know which one it is, but I've, there's, a, there's a video on my YouTube for everything I've ever built. So there's a video, a test video of that box that he was complaining about. I've seen him bash 307, Carl Bell. I've seen him bash Hopper. Uh, I've seen that man bash everybody in the past five or six years. I, I think he's bashed every builder. I've even seen him bash BBI. So so I guess I should be gone. flattered or honored that he finally decided to put my name out there too. Do me a little advertisement. That means if he has to make a video proving that he's better than me, we're talking about dating, one, two, three. If he has to make a video proving he's better than me, that means that I'm important because he took his time to try to prove everybody that he was a better builder than me. So that means I'm I'm on his mind. He's worried about me. But that's all right. I hope he does well. Uh, he does some pretty good looking builds. So I'll give him that. But you can build the best box in the world. If you're a jerk, you're a jerk, man. It don't matter. It don't matter how good a box you build. That don't make you a good guy, man. Yeah. Like I said, 
You build the best box in the world. If you're a jerk, you're a jerk. I send you back 307, Carl built, uh, Hopper, BBI, and some other builders out there. So, but uh, you like showing my name though, because you've always loved me. Oh yeah, and all that paint you do on them boxes, that just wastes everybody's money because when you paint them boards and everything, you're putting a lot of labor or something because uh, the engines are no good. All right, enough of that. Well, let's see if we can cut some more pill strips. And you gotta make sure you cut these good because if you leave them touching together, you'll have problems. And that's something you sure don't wanna do on 64 pill. I know a lot of people ain't built 64 pills. I think Hopper's built a few. Tony. See, Hopper worked for Tony and Fat Boy, and Tony and taught him how. So he built a few 64 pills. That's about the only one I've seen really building with Fat Boy and Hopper. But this will only be the second one I've ever built. And, uh, and it's a good time to try this. And this going to be regular HGs. I've never done a regular HG box. Might as well see. I'm still on the fence how I'm going to build it. I'm trying to decide if I want to build it in eight pill sections or if I want to build it in a. I'm still on the fence trying to decide if I want to build it in eight pill sections or if I want to build it in a, a four sixteen pill sections like mine is. Mine's kind of an old school build. I could probably do mine a lot better, but I'm not going to. I put new pills in mine the other day. It's been like five years. I blow. I'd blow about I don't know seven or eight ten pills being stupid to it over the years. Maybe getting weak. So I put new pills in it, and uh, our transistors, whatever you want to call them. I ain't talked on a whole lot since then, but uh, I didn't rebuild it. I mean, I started to go back and redo it. There's some, a lot of things I could do better. I've learned a lot in five years, but hey, it does good numbers. So I just put new pills in it, sent it on the road, hooked it back up. It likes talking about 10K PEP, no problem. We just stay together that way. I've seen it do 16 PEP, but it's got the C's in it. But, it likes cruising about 10k. It's the way I see it, guys. And this is you take it however you want to. The higher you go in wattage, the harder it is to do any good. So, as far as I'm concerned, when you're about 10k, the rest of it's mother nature. If you go 20k, man, that's gonna be not even a needle width. From 10k to 20k is not even a needle width. So it don't matter. Once you hit 10k, you can pretty much get in there and walk on anybody when it's your turn. You know, you can't do it every time, but when it's your turn to burn, you can. And a 10k, 64 pill, 10k can walk on 20,000s or whatever when it's your turn to burn, no problem. Because like I said, the higher you get, like, I mean, it's crazy. I don't even know if a, going from 10 to 20 wouldn't even be a needle with. Going from 10 to 50 might be a needle with or something. The higher you go, the worse it gets. And power. I mean, it just don't help no more and skill. Seems like once you get your numbers out there, probably, I said 10K, probably five or 6K to get it done. I mean, because once you get five or 6K rolling out there, it's gonna be mother nature. She can she can decide the rest. And it also matters, you know, these guys tuning, these guys tuning their boxes and average. Keep doing that, please, because that's just making it where I can talk skip, because that's really a lot of it why the pills uh, sit out there and run. That's why on 64 pill, I can get on there and run with the 20,000 still too. These guys are running an average and uh, I'm running PP and my modulation to come in on the carrier and ride in. My voice are right over theirs actually on their own carrier. So I've seen that happen a bunch of times. But by no means is the 64 pill gonna put you on top on 28, but it'll make it where the top guys have to talk to you. They don't have no choice. You'll be in the running. But a 32 pill probably gets you in the running too. No, I know it will. But you know, there's always gonna be somebody with more power, bigger station, bigger antenna, yada, yada, yada. Antenna's a lot of it too. I've been thinking about getting me a bigger antenna. Mine's just 26 foot, six element V. So, we'll see what happens. I haven't been talking much lately, just to, uh, it's hadn't been, the skip hadn't been right, and I've been on vacation, and all that good stuff, so I just haven't been talking much. 
There's 16 done. We got three more 16 pills to go. I can set it all up here and let y'all see it when it's done. I probably won't do live because like I said, my internet ain't no good. And, uh, I like to chat with y'all when this stuff's going on too. And I can't chat and work. So probably what we'll do is uh, do this, put it up, do this, put it up, do this, put it up. Like that. It's an hour or so at a time. And just make it more fun for me to build it too when y'all can see it. And I know these ain't perfect, like a jig. But when I get done, you won't be able to tell the difference when the build's done. You can see it right now a little bit, but when it's all said and done, you can't tell it. Not when the transformers are on there and everything. But. Yeah, that bashing stuff, guys, for the birds. I work on everybody's amps. And I'm going to tell you something. It don't matter whose amp it is. I can always find something. I mean, I don't care who builds it. I can always look at it and say, I would have done this different. I would have done that different. Everybody's different. You know, like, even it don't matter if it's a BBI, Hopper, 3 Mate, Fat Cat, Fat Boy, Rainmaker, whatever. I mean, they do some pretty work, but I can always get their amp in here and say, oh, I would do this a little different right here. And I'd do that a little different right here. That's, that's going to be the way it is. That's the difference in the builders. Custom build amps. Different people do different stuff. They like different things. But I shouldn't have to, you know, my aunt speak for the stuff, guys. They talk. And like I said, that box that he done, <laughs> the toggle switch, that box three or four years old. At least. Because I've been using breakers, like I said, at least four years. And I could do you a lesson on him. He caused me a lot of trouble on the internet, him and his buddies. And I could, I could tell you a lesson about him. But you know what? Let's wait a little while and see what he does next. Uh, Maybe he'll learn a lesson from some of this and shut his mouth and just leave everybody alone. That's all he needs to do. He needs to, instead of making a video showing he's smarter than me or 307 or whatever, he needs to make a video and show you what he can do and put his product out there. He built some pretty boxes. But again, there you go again, that paint and stuff. To me, all that does is make it harder to work on if it just broke or whatever and I have to solder on that stupid paint that he puts on there and stuff. But it's pretty. He does a good signature. He can do some good art. He's a good artist. He does some pretty artwork. But uh, artwork don't make what's. Artwork don't get your name called. Like I said, I'm not the best. Don't claim to be the best, guys. I've done this for a hobby. And back when they gave me a hard time, which he was in on it, see, X4 started donkey stomping. When he gave me such a hard time, that's what made me build. So thank you. Keep talking shit about me. That makes me, that gives me the incentive to go, you know. Keep advertising, keep my name out there and keep downing me. That makes me want to go. That makes me want to show everybody what I can do. Instead of hooking your box up and saying, oh, you're stupid. I'm just going to sit here and build and show everybody what I can do without, without uh, having to slander somebody, you know. Without having to knock somebody down. That one didn't want to take solder too good. There it goes. If I have to knock somebody down to make it, I ain't going to do it. Instead of, it's just like, you know, I get fat boys in here all the time. I mean, does that mean they're bad boxes? No. I get car builds. Does that mean they're bad boxes? No. All these things break, guys. It don't matter who builds them. Uh, they all break. And the reason why you get fat boys in here is because there's so many sold. That's why. There's so many out there. So they won't pay that. And like a donkey stompers. Of course they're going to be broke. There's tons and tons of them out there. So yeah, they're going to break. When you got that many boxes out there, they're going to break. The more you get out there, the more you're going to see broke. That's why I like I don't know if y'all noticed. I used to be friends with BBI. He's not buddies with me no more. But anyway, I don't think we're exactly enemies, but he just, I don't know. It's a long story. 
But anyway, I don't know if y'all have noticed or not, but like a, you remember back when BBI always had an X-Force broke? Always. He was always repairing X-Force. And you know why? Because they were, that was the number one selling box. There were so many of them out there. Just because they're on the bench getting repaired don't mean that that's a bad builder. That means that builder sold more boxes than everybody else. So, you know, we all know X-Force works. We worked from Carl Built, Carl Built Works, X-Force worked, uh, Arlen X-Force worked. We know that. We all run them. But, I wish Arlen had done things different and took care of his business when he left. He got sick and his wife got sick and all that. I don't know where he's at now. I know his Facebook is like, he looks like he's passed away, but he hadn't. Arlen was a pretty good old guy. We did a lot of business together. And I did a lot of business with Car Built when I had my CB shops. I used to sell X-Force at Car Built. You sell Twister with Fred. Uh, I've got Twister. I'm gonna redo one of these days. If I can never get caught up, which probably never happened in a little but guys, if I have to knock somebody to make myself look good, uh, that don't make you look good. That makes you look stupid. Makes you look like a butthole, like a butthole you are. If you have to put somebody's amp out there on blast, you're just showing everybody that you're an insecure butthole and you got a small penis, I guess. Ah! <laughs> Should have said that, but I did. Oh, Lordy. I don't even show lamps. I mean, you know that, guys. When I fix somebody up, I don't show it. Now, I'm on 885. We got a group that talks on 885 every night from 6 to 7. Good Time Charlie, Key Man, Mud Flap, uh, Grind Rock, me, sometimes Shady Grady, String Bean. That's like a local thing. It's an old man channel, low side of 33. Everybody talks from six to seven, that's it. So they might start talking here in a minute. On the radio over here, I may turn it on, just keep talking to them while we're working. So guys, if you like this, let me know. I mean, if it's something you guys wanna do, we'll do it. We will do it. Uh, I said, though, I'm not really going to uh, I'm not really going to uh, do it live because it's just too aggravating, too slow. I'll just do them and post them up. Do an hour or two, post them. Yeah, it'll take forever to upload them, but I don't care. I'll plug the phone in a minute, let it charge, upload it. When it gets uploaded, we'll do a, a preview and we'll start from there. There's another pill strip done. We're getting there, guys. So I think we'll do the pill strips. And I'll set it up here. I'll show it to you. I don't know how long the video is. I might do some pills. I don't know. I don't know if we're that froggy tonight or not. I'm just going to do a little bit of work on the 64 pill at a time. I thought I could do it live and do it in between jobs and stuff. But I need to do some on it because I'm behind. Good time Charlie's going to get his beam up. And I'm not going to have it built. But I know uh, several of my builder buddies want to see it built. Rainmaker, uh, one three made, uh, gatekeeper. There is some good builders out there I get along with. Uh, I'll tell you a good one. There's a fat, uh, fat boy, Tony. You don't never see him bash off on nobody on the internet. Nowhere. Uh, he's a good dude. Uh, who else? Um, Fat Cat's a good one. You don't never see him bash off on nobody. And Fat Cat's, me and him made buddies. A lot of my, a lot of my, a few of my enemies were friends with him and going to see him at the time when we first met. And he, uh, what made me like him so well is he didn't judge me by what they told him. He got to know me himself. He didn't, he wasn't one of them guys that said, I don't like him because such and such told me not to, like the other guys. He said, I'm going to get to know this guy and see if I like him for myself. That's the way it ought to be, guys. Don't never, ever, ever be mean to nobody because somebody told you to, even if it's your best friend. You, if your best friend warns you, you can keep it in the back of your mind. 
But you need to get to know that person first yourself and, uh, and go from there and see what you think. Don't never go by the rumor. It's like, don't never go by, don't never think a box builder's bad because the guy makes a video bad about him. Because another thing about that is, them videos, you don't know who's been in that box. That's like that box of the day of me. There have been other people in that box. I could tell that right off. So, you don't never know. I've seen different videos on fat cat boxes and stuff. I mean, you don't know what was done to it or what, who's been in it. So, but just, you know, learn, get your own experience. Don't, uh, don't go by the rumors. And that's just like on Facebook where that crap, oh, I don't like him, so you're my friend. You shouldn't like him either. That's bullshit. Get to know people yourself and figure out for your own self, you know. If I told you to go jump off a bridge and it's safe, you gonna do it just because I told you? No. You can go down there and check the water before you jump off or whatever. I know this old rainmaker's been building some uh, big old power supplies. I like that thousand amp. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something. I had, I had a little bad taste on my, used on my HP, I'm sorry, HP power supply to start with because I was trying to make all the lights stay on when I tied them together. And then, like, when I built one and tied them together, all the lights would come on, and, like, all the lights would go off on every power supply but one. And I wasn't doing them sharing. I was like, what the devil? And I tried everywhere in the world. Mind me, man. Well, come to find out, you can still unplug the ones with the lights off, and they're still putting out power. So, I did, for curiosity, I built Good Time Charlie an 8 pill with three of them in it. And uh, we did it for a test. And the, and the lights is off on two of them always. I mean, they'll all come on when you first turn it on, but after a few minutes, the lights will go off on all of them at one. But you can unplug the one with the light on, the others are still power. Well, good time Charlie's running the crap out of it, and it's holding up, so I think they're gonna be all right. Now the point is we can't get them no more. So there's different brands you can get them, but I just, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna use a megawatts because I just didn't get time to do use power supplies and worry about mods and worry about talking them into working and, and worry about all that. I know it costs more money to use megawatts, but they're they're good and they're reliable and they do what I need to do. And some people say, oh, them HPs are way better. Well, they may be, but they just don't work better for me. Yeah. Well, that's what I was getting at, Rainmaker done some really good videos of some good builds. I think he's got a thousand for sale. Raymaker offered to build me a 2000 and I've got them two big 2000s. I don't need to spend the money on it, but I thought about it just because I'm lazy and I could put them in one case. See, I've got 500 amps. Mine's got a thousand in each box, in each big box. You know, for my big box. That's why I'm doing good time Charlie's too. Mine's got the China cheap supplies. Oh, and guess what? I've got a thousand amps, 2,000 amps total. Running my 64 bill. I got 500 running each 16. All right. And guess what? They got China supplies and the hot and ground wires or whatever reaches. They're not cut to length on my own box. I built it a long time ago. It works great. I've not had no trouble. 2,000 amps worth, you know. But I, I started talking to some guys, and I started doing them a second length just because I'm always looking for something to do better. So if I can do better, I will, you know. I'm starting to use the same links on the DC side because they say it works better, so why not? You know, I just try to do what's good. But uh, everybody's always going to have different opinions on everything. But I know one thing for sure, and they can say whatever they want to. You can leave the wires on the power supplies, whatever length you want to. Cut them as short as you can, and they work. I don't care what they say, because I've done it and done it and done it. You can take a, I've got these uh, 2,000 amps worth, and they're not going out on 64 pill. And it'll do up 16,000. So my test power supply that I use every day on here that y'all watch the videos on, they're not the same length. That's kind of wild. And I'll tell you something else, you don't know. I don't, I never understand why they do this. They do this to force them to run, but don't take the fuses out of the power supplies and put wire on them. The fuses are there for a reason. 
but I don't even use them channels no more. I'm using them for my personal use, but I don't talk. I don't put them in no boxes no more. I was getting a few of them go out here and there, and I just uh, back in the day the channels, and I just I tell you what really got me that made me change. It wasn't so much as the 40s. I didn't have a trouble by the China 40s. The China 50s. I used them for a long time, and they started biting me in the butt and blowing up. So that's what got me using megawatts. Because the 50s also, what would happen too is I get sometimes I get pirate spots. This is really what made me start using megawatts. The China ones, every once in a while, certain customers or house wire and stuff, they'd run them pirate spots with China modules, and they just knock the receiver out of the radio, and they'd complain. And I'd get complaints. Oh, I can hear my amp running my receiver. I can hear my amp running my receiver. And, you know, I could put filters and stuff in it, but sometimes I couldn't stop it. And it, it was hit or miss. One pirate spot might not do it that I built the next to mine. And I just, uh, and it might not do it here, but do it at your house. So it was costing me a bunch of money because they were shipping them back to me for noise in the radio. And, uh, and when they ship them back to me, I had to redo it or whatever and put a filter in it. I had to ship it back to them on my dime. So that's when I said, you know what? Megawatts. Because, see, I was losing my ass on shipping, warranty and noise and power supplies. So this way, with megawatts, they have no noise. And I'm going to tell you something, too, guys. This is something else that hadn't been talked about out there. Some of them HP supplies make noise. Three Maid made a video about it. Some of them server supplies, guys, they make tons of noise in their safe. Mr. Three Maid made a video about it, like I said. So, you know, you gotta watch that. You don't handle noise in megawatts. It's just not worth the chance of a... To me, this dust, I hate this dust. To me, it's not worth the chance of a... Um, having to get returns and stuff using them odd power supplies. Because if I build a power supply and it's got noise in it and it comes back and I have to pay shipping on it or the customer has to pay shipping on it, it don't matter how you look at it, somebody's going to lose money. And the same thing could happen with them server supplies. Let's just pay more money to start with and know use megawatts and know that nobody's going to lose no money. I have a hard enough time keeping all the HGs working to have to worry about power supplies. I'm not going to do it. So anyway, that's how we're going to use megawatts. I know they cost more and I'm sorry. That's why. But I'm not going to... I am not going to take a chance on using different power supplies and stuff and getting returns. I ain't got time for power supplies to break. Like I said, we're busy enough keeping people's boxes running that we don't got time for power supplies to break or make noise in the radios and all that. So. Now, if you want to use the HPs on there and save yourself the money and DYI yourself for power supplies, I'm cool with that. Matter of fact, guys, uh, build your own power supplies. Let me build your boxes. You can do it. The video's right there. DIY your power supplies, save yourself some money. I don't care about building power supplies anyway. I do what I got to, but you know. I let me build the boxes. Y'all can build the power supplies if you want to. But if I build the power supplies right now, it will be a megawatt. I think I just heard them stars probably six o'clock. Let me turn down my square. Let's see if I can hear them. Ugh. That's bleed over, I think. At six o'clock, they'll start talking. It's gonna take me forever to load this video. I know it will. But if you guys like this, let me know, and we'll try to do some more of it. If you just ain't interested in watching it, that's all right. We can quit doing it and just show pictures and stuff. That must have been Channel Six Bleedo or something, because I don't hear nothing. I'm listening on 885. Yeah, guys, if you're out there and uh, skips running to Tennessee from six to seven Central Time every night, we're on there. You can haul for Beavis, Good Time Charlie, Key Man, Stream Bean, Grind Rock, Mud Flat. Usually one of us is on there. There's a gentleman that I've talked to for years goes by Key Man. I've known him since I was a kid on the radio. And uh, 
that's where he likes to talk and stuff at night. And it's, we call it Key Man's channel. But he only talks an hour. That's why we go down there and do it every night. Just kind of for him and Grinder, up, the older generation. They only talk about an hour. That's it. But anybody's welcome. You're all welcome to come down there. Even the locals. If you're local to us and you're watching that, come on down there. Six to seven every night. You can set your watch to it, clock to it. Some nights, I think Sunday nights, they don't do it as much because of church. And some, some of them miss it on Wednesday night. But most of the time, they're there. So you see how my cuts wasn't completely straight and perfect. But by the time you solder them and stuff, you can't even see it. I don't know. I might rig me up a jig like Rainmaker's got. Three made one of these days. But I ain't never had one. But they turn out pretty darn going good. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what's on we're on. We're getting on down through there. We're moving faster than I thought we would. I might saw the pills down too. I don't know. I don't know if I've got the camera set where you can see it all. I'll probably just zoom out some or something. If I put the 64 pill up here. Oh, Gatekeeper said something about he had a 64 pill bill coming up. We was talking about it. He's talking about how he's going to do it. I told him how I done mine. I told him to help me any way I could. Even though he's probably smarter than me on boxes by far. But I still told him I'd help him any way I could. Oh, Gatekeeper. Back in the day, everybody, that, when all the trouble was going on, it's been ugly to me. Gatekeeper got to know me. He didn't judge me by what Joe Bull said. There was one person that got on there and told everybody that I did him wrong and stuff. He was a kid. And it made him feel sorry for him. And it caused me a bunch of trouble. Then Danny got mad at me because I wouldn't buy his boxes. When Donkey Stomper started, he didn't want me to do it. He wanted me to use him instead of x -Force. I got the screenshots if you guys want to see it, but... I said I wasn't going to go in there. I'm trying not to talk about that. Never mind. But anyway, he got mad because I told him I could buy like four X-Forces before I could buy one of his boxes for. That's all. I don't need to keep talking about that. He don't deserve my attention. This one does have a custom fan grills coming that's going to go on it. Good time Charlie fan grills. Uh, Mr. Carlock made them. I'm getting hungry again. I done ate a bowl of chili. Might have to go get another one here in a minute. Y'all can see from my picture, I'm just skinny as a rail and starving to death. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Now, I'm not going to get on here and tell everybody exact values and stuff like that because I got my own way. There's no sense in me telling everybody how I do it, and then uh, exactly. And then, uh, you know, if you knew that, you don't need me. But I'll show you the work. I'm not gonna tell the tuning and how I tune it and all that. I'm not gonna share how to tune it. I will tell you this, I ain't gonna tune an average. Tune in PP, modulated. I'm not gonna tune it in dead key, come on, come in. We all know how HGs love dead key. They love popping. This is the last pill strip.
This will probably make me build the 64 pill faster because I won't be taking a break if I do a video. Channel 6 is bleeding 885 right now. Now I'm just on my uh, ground plane, my, uh, what's that thing called? Colossal 10K, good antenna. I like my Colossal, it's been good to me. Good antennas, Colossal 10K, they're good. The uh, You guys got any questions during all this you can type it in because i'm going to go back and be lazy here in a minute and i'll probably watch it i'll try to talk to y'all that's a good way to burn up some time huh i'm sorry i enjoy it but i sure can't chat with you while at work that just don't work out all right guys that little job's done what we're gonna do here i'm gonna put my grinder up my grandma. Put my grandma up. All right, we gotta get rid of some of this dust right here to start with. I'm gonna get it right. I can't handle the dirt, dust and dirt. This out of here, wash that off first and get it out of here. I'll be having a vacuum now. Yeah, you gotta vacuum this place once a week at least with the dog hair and the wire clippings and then my poor shark. I recommend a shark vacuum cleaner, guys. It's the only thing I found that can stand up to me is a shark. To my wire clippings and stuff where I sleep them off on the floor. I'm going to get my new mat for too long. This one's getting wore down pretty good. I wish I had a big silicone one like this. Only a silicone's hard to clean, but if I had a big silicone like this, it wouldn't burn. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now, this thing right here is going to take up some room. Uh-oh. I hit my camera. Sorry about that. This thing right here is going to take up some room. I don't know how I'm gonna set this up here and do it. I'm gonna scoot this down just a little bit because I'm gonna need that to go in there. Give me some more room. Alright, let's see if we can get it all in here. As far as it's gonna zoom out. I don't really want my big belly in there. That's pretty good, maybe. Let's see, I could come out here and do this roll. I'll mess my camera all up. Well. I need a good camera stand to do this or a point of view or something. I don't know. Maybe I need to get one of them point of view cameras. Maybe I need to talk to Gatekeeper. See about that point of view camera he's got. Maybe to pick up better instead of just using the phone. Oh, I'm going to jerk my stand and pull them off there. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see me solder that. It ain't wanting to come out here. I guess I'll do it like it right there. Well, I done got everything all messed up now. If I keep on, I'm gonna stop it and do something else. Now we dropped it down. We got 39 minutes of video, I'll see that. Yeah, I need a point of view uh, camera, gatekeeper. I know your audio was muddy on yours the other day, but I need one of them. That's going to have to be good enough. But of course, I got it backwards. 
but I'll just do it that way for what I normally do. It don't matter. <clears throat> now I like to try to leave quite a bit of room between the screws and the pill strips. That way, if you need to work on it, the transistors will come out easy. And try to get this straight. I've never, I don't ever work on camera, so it's kind of, I was just kind of wondering how many times I'm going to screw up and have to redo something. Because I ain't used to having an audience. What I like to do is kind of set them in. Where they're going to be before I solder them on. Yeah, I need a point of view camera. And they don't probably make one to go on my big head. But I need one so y'all can see this stuff better. If we're going to do this. But we'll use what we got for now. We got a 39 minute video. I don't, I don't know, we're gonna do an hour or so. Let's, let's solder these pills up and then quit for a while. I might do that. I might solder these pills up right here. They do a repair. Then come back tomorrow night and do a video on a transformer or something. I don't know, we could do that that way. Spend an hour or two on it tonight or something. Split it up so it don't get burned out. That's a good idea. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm gonna start trying to make a video every night on this. An hour or two or something. And then we could do two hours a night or something. Then we can come back to go back to normal show or whatever and work. Oh, we're fixing to have another group giveaway, too. I noticed today it's been four weeks. So, we're about to have another group giveaway over there for the members, group members. I did fix a, uh, I don't tell you guys about this. I got a Palomar 250 over here. It don't make great big watts, but it's got the Shiba 2090s in it. And uh, it was donated to me. It was broke. I got it fixed last night. So, it might be in the giveaway on YouTube. Is it six o'clock yet? Should be. No, maybe not. No, I doubt it. We could do that, guys. We could uh, do a couple hours on this overnight, and then just turn it off and go back and do whatever. Sixty-four pills is a lot of pills, man. Pills, pills, pills. I need some more pills. I don't know what times we'll be able to do this or whatever, because depends on what I'm doing. I come back from vacation and my daughter had her car all tore up, so I've been working on it. Both my lawnmowers are broke. Working on them. Then we got the dogs. They think I'm the fixer of all the things. It don't matter what it is, I have to fix it if it's broke. So, around here. If the fence breaks, or the appliance breaks, or it don't matter what it is. They want, all everybody says, wants me to come fix it. I guess that means I'm getting old. I used to be like that. My father-in-law fixed everything, not me. Now he's getting older, and uh, sounds like they want me to start fixing everything while you're him old or something. I don't know. I like to try to keep this pretty shiny. And I don't worry about clamping down on the pill strips too hard because when I saw the transformers and stuff on, guys, they'll, uh, they will uh, take care of themselves. In other words, you'll have to solder on again a little bit, so. 
you know, it ain't like, this ain't the final solder down of the transistors, so I'm saying. It's just a setting it up. When you do the transformers, or, I'll have to smooth that back out, make sure it stays shiny, and all that stuff. I guess we're gonna solder down 64 wheels, huh? What do you say? Come on, come in. I still gotta do one half of Charlie's power supply too. He's gonna use half the one I built him for 32 pill. He's gonna have a lot of me. He's gonna have two big units. All megawatts his is though. His is better than mine. I only use a. I gotta build half the power supply for the run this. Be running though. Probably gonna run 15.8. That way he's got the option to go up. But that's a lot of times guys are like, why don't you turn your power supply those out? Well. If you don't want to run it hard, don't drive it hard, okay? I mean, because you can run it kind of voltage. It just depends on how you drive it. It's like Charlie, see? I say on 15.5, he can drive it easy and do good watts. Then, uh, if he wants to knock it on up there, he can, see? You have that option. That's why I said on 15.8. If you want to be easy, I'm drive it easy. Simple as that. Let's see. But you always have that option to go up there and power if it's 7.58. And I don't want variable power supplies because they don't work right. I don't care who builds them. What ends up happening if you got like 15 units in a power supply, let's just say, throw that number out there, and you try to run wires and control them all with one variable, none of them power supplies are the same. Like, they won't work. If that would work, you could take the variable and put it all in the same place on every power supply and it'd all be the same voltage. Y'all know that don't happen. You see what I'm saying? Like when you're setting the volts on the power supply, if you went through all your power supply modules and put the variable in the same place, you're going to end up with different voltages. Any of them. Well, so that's what's going to happen with the control, controlling them all. The power supplies are not built exactly the same. So you use one controller at X amount of ohms or whatever and you hook it to five power supplies, well, you're going five different voltages, which I've got one like that, but it ain't good for stuff. Come up breaking some power supplies. I don't talk about, they fussing about wires. Oh yeah, there you go. They fussing about wires being different lengths, breaking power supplies. Let's talk about that. What about variables? Because they're not the same voltage. I don't care how you do it. Unhook. Unhook your, if you think somebody are, if you got a variable power supply, unhook all the hot and grounds and all the supplies and turn it on and variable it up and down and check it with a meter. You ever notice the variable supply when you keep it drops? Because it's gonna drop down to the lowest voltage, the lowest one. You can get them close, but they ain't gonna be right. Now that right there tear up some power supplies. Come on, come in. Variable voltage is not a good thing because what ends up happening is one of them ends up putting out more volts than the rest of them and it has to tax it all the way out before it can before it can uh, um, go to pull off the next one. So these guys will talk about different length of wires. Uh, okay. Variable voltage is way worse. Way worse. See, there's always a way to look at everything, guys. You know, you can always look at something and pick out something. Variable voltage is way worse than different length wires. Different length wires ain't no big deal, really, especially if you keep them short. If you keep them short, it don't really matter. But when you get them longer, it starts mattering if they're real long. But, like my big power supplies, they probably should have the same length in it, but they don't. And they work, and I'm not gonna redo them. When I build Good Time Charlie's, his have the same length that his other one does too. I'll just cut off how many other modules he got. I'll cut off that many wires the same length, hook them up. On the DC side, not the AC side. Ooh, I'm about goofed up here. So that's pretty cool. And let me just come at this a little bit more. I'm trying to get them close to slam. On all the transistors. Yeah, okay, like, somebody fusses on my power supply builds because they're, uh, 
different length of wires. What about those with variable voltage with one variable controlling 10 supplies? In order for that to work, all 10 of those supplies have to be exactly the same, perfectly. And they're not gonna be. They're just not gonna be. Now what I have done before, which just makes it a little better, but it's still gonna be off. I have to set each supply up at the same voltage and then put a variable to them. But it's still gonna change. So, yeah. Somebody put variable voltage and tuning an average and uh, 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 taking fuses out and putting wire in, they don't need to be talking about nobody. I can't draw, I can't draw and paint. If you want me to paint a box, you might as well just take it and start sling, slinging it on there because it looks about as good. And I don't want to paint through the, uh, I don't want to solder through the paint. I don't have to worry about that. It's pretty, but who in the world is going to take the lid off their box and say, if it ain't painted inside, it ain't going to work. You don't run it with the lid off. Now I'll tell you something you can do that I agree with is clear coat. You can clear coat them extra because the reason why I agree with that is because it keeps from the copper turning green, but these all come clear coated. This got a lot of clear coating from factory. Like this roller right here is clear coated. Not much, but it's just a little bit. Fat boy clear coats them all. And yeah, all the stuff right here comes from Charger, ICA, Fat Boy. There ain't no secret. By the time I get done starting all these, I'll be ready to take a break from this thing. So you kind of got to burr down and make sure that solder hits that board and cuts through that clear coat. Should be getting close to six o'clock right now. We're gonna try two hours tonight, or close to it, and see how that does, and how long it takes to upload it and all that crap. And then if it don't work good, we might go down time tomorrow, or less time or whatever, I don't know. We could work on this an hour or two tonight, live. You guys can watch. If you unsalike like that, I mean, you know, if you wanna see it. It does definitely make me work harder, because Usually I sit there and turn the movie on, I solder and walk off, solder and walk off, solder and walk off. And y'all on video, I have to keep soldering. Let's see what it looks like on the video. You can kind of see, I'll get you a close up when I get done. Sixty-four pills, a lot of pills. So it's a sixty-four pills. That's thirty-two transformers on each side. So sixty-four transformers. Then you got swamping resistors. I mean caps. I'm sorry, swamping caps. Sixty-four of them. Then you got thirty-two caps on your transformers. Thirty-two transformers to line up on one side, and thirty-two more caps. Thirty-two transformers on the other side. 64 10 ohms, linear resistors on your combiners. There's a lot to it. It's the only people I've seen really building a bunch of them is Fat Boy and Hopper. And Hopper's building them kind of for Fat Boy or whatever. He was working for Fat Boy. Like I said, guys, I don't want you to think that I think I know everything, because I don't. I can learn something from anybody. 
but I do try to take care of my people. That right there means a lot. And try not to be an asshole. <laughs> try not to be downgrading people all the time. Listen, I've had BBI boxes in here to work on. I've had one, two, three boxes to work on. I've had, hey, I just thought of one I hadn't ever had. I ain't never had a Rainmaker yet. I've had three maids. Uh, I've had uh, fat cats, uh, fat boys. I get quite a few fat boys, but like I told you, it's because there's so many out there. It's not because they're bad boxes. It's because there's thousands and thousands of them being sold. Same thing with car belts. I've been noticing car belts been coming in. It's not because the car belts a bad box. It's because there's thousands and thousands of them being sold. And that's, you know, the more of them sold is the more of them I try to break. You get what I mean, Jelly Bean, 10-4. Come on, come on. I skipped a couple of solder joints there. Let me hit this one. I missed that one. And I missed that one. And I missed that one. And I missed that one. Hey, I got to looking when I was doing these pill tricks and marking them. I was saying screws missing. I left out screws. It's easy to do when there's that many. That's the thing about 64, but there's 64 chances to screw up or whatever. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see that? Here, I'm going to look back this way just a little bit as much as I can. All right. We'll start out doing this one the way down here. Yeah, I didn't think about that very voltage power slide thing until we were sitting here talking to myself. When you do variable voltage, you're going to end up with one power supply putting out, let's say, 15.5, another one doing 15.4, another one doing 15.2, maybe another one doing 14.8. And what's going to have to happen is the one that's doing the most voltage, you're going to tax it down to the volts of the lowest one before it goes to the next one. So variable voltage is way worse. It's different length wires. Come on, come in. But it works too. There's a bunch of nitro variable voltage. And it ain't as bad. To do variable voltage on one with like two models or three models, like 100, 150 amp, I ain't no big deal because there's not enough there to worry about. But you start doing it on a bunch of power supplies, you don't want to do it. Like 3,400 amps and stuff. What I used to do on that is I'll go through and I'll go through and set them all the same voltage to start with, just like I normally do. And then I'll tie my variable to each one, you know, on the variable it and turn it up and down so they are closer but they still ain't gonna stay the same of course they when you set them all the same they don't stay the same and i don't care what power supply you're using they'll change a little bit yeah i'm gonna stick with my filtered megawatts no returns is what i call it i've had one guy told me that his is making noise and he changed it it didn't quit, but he said it was making funky noise. Now, I have heard him make some funky noises when you draw from them. The Megawatch uses the fans to cover up the noise, but you can hear it if you put your ear up to them. And I had one guy do that. And uh, then another guy, and this is kind of our fault. I built a two by 10 in one box. I've only done one of them. Did it for a Maple Man. And he blowed up a power supply, but he was running a big old D-Rail hot radio in that 2 by 10 making all kinds of average watts. So. Is it 6 o'clock yet? I'm going to check. Ain't nobody talking. Just now 6 o'clock. We're moving right along on camera here. I said I can't be lazy. Turn the volume. Hello, come in, break your breaker. 
What's going on this evening? Well, hello, Key Man. Hello, Maine. I'm down here in Tennessee. Zero one eight Tennessee Beavis. Donkey stomp away. All right, Rhode Island. There yeah, we talk local down here every night, so we're sitting down here shooting a bull. Sounded good, Rhode Island. Your friend Tim, zero one eight Beavis. Donkey stomp away. Check, check, three, eight, seven. I guess we got a little skip running there, Key Man. Bunny Bobcat. Someone's pretty far away. Hello, John Boy. I ain't heard nobody yet, but you and Key Man so far. Hello, Mr. Grind Rock. They don't know that they're alive. That's what I'm doing, Seth Splatter. Do what, Key Man? Yeah, that's who I was talking to, is Rhode Island. That's why you went down on me a little bit if you turned your beam. Yeah, that's who I was talking to. I'm not on my beam, I'm not got my power up or nothing. I'm in about 1600 PB. Hello, Mr. I used to my gates directly in the computer. I figured I'd do something to do while I work. I don't guess old Good Time Charlie ain't gonna show up tonight. He goes with Bobcat, local and good time charging this kid. Uh, he may be left early, he took a load early tonight. I don't know, I ain't talked to him, I see him. I'm sitting there soldering his pills down in his big box, and I've got it on video here, sitting there taking a video of it, soldering his transistors down. Working on Bobcat 64 pill. Yeah, but I got a lot of work to do yet. I'm gonna try to work on it an hour or two every night or something, you know. So Key Man's in Baxter and John Boy's way over there. They're pretty good ways for me. Key Man turned his beam towards the skip, probably turned it off me too. He can get loud up here if he wants to. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video of it as I go along, I think. Work on a couple hours a day. Everybody's wanting to see it being built.
Yeah, I don't care for them watching the fundamentals of it, you know. Well, it don't matter about the fundamentals. It's the same way. Everybody's got their own way of finishing up, you know, and different doing things. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I came out usually just running near nothing, power-wise. The Bobcat come on here, good time Charlie, he'd blow you out, but he ain't on here yet. Yeah, I'm saying he took him a load. I don't think he's gonna make it on here this evening. Well, you know String B can't talk to us unless Bobcat's on here. I don't think he's allowed to talk when Bobcat ain't on here. Yeah, I think Bobcat said, don't you be on 885 talking to them boys if I'm at work. Hey, Key Man, we may end up having more company on this channel before it's over because I'm on that video right now I'm making doing soldering these transistors down. And I've told everybody that we're on here every night from 6 to 7, so we may end up with some visitors for long. Yeah, because they're fixing to see you worldwide that we're on 26 8 85 every night from 6 to 7 Central Time. Give everybody a chance to talk some skip there without having to be a big dog. But I'd run up being watched on channel 28. Don't take a lot to get up down there. Ain't gonna be no bobcat. Yeah, there's skip in there, key man. Usually Bobcat stream is on there, you can't get a word in edgewise, but tonight there ain't no there. Stream Bean won a Wilson 2000 the other day and donated it back to it. I give, give it away in the public. Oh, you got a lot louder then. Video talking to me. I ain't posted it yet. It ain't live, but when I post it up, it'll have me talking to y'all on it. Just, I don't think you care, do you? Oh yeah, you got a lot louder when you got on the ground plane. You know, just I know you're still on the two pill. That's what I was telling everybody. They could have uh, come down here in six to seven, maybe talk some skip to Tennessee every night without having to have a million watts.
I'm gonna have to get on here a minute and see if I... I'm gonna have to get off here a minute and see if Rainmaker's alive. But I'll watch him build. You know, if he's building something, he might not be alive tonight. He hasn't been the last couple of months. I don't, I don't want to be on there the same time he is, really. Who is that up north? Come on, come in. 018 Tennessee Beavis. Donkey Stomper Way. I can't get on the beam and stuff, but... I ain't going to. Well, they didn't hear me. Oh my God, were they talking to each other up there? Yeah. Yeah. There's another pill on the wall. It's that beer bottle, 64 pills on the wall. I need to get on 28 and do a skip video. I haven't in a while. I said, I've been gone all week last week, guys. I'm gonna turn it down. Uh -huh. No, you ain't nobody talking, really. I've been gone last week all week, so. I know I took a lot of vacations. I got one more plan. But that one last week was with my sister and mom, and they want to do that, you know. So that's what I had to do. My sister's got three kids. You know, mom's getting pretty old, so you know it's kind of nice just to go see everybody. We do that, try to do that once a year. Them three kids all that way they'll know who I am. They're down in Alabama, in Athens. I ain't got no blade over much, in right now. I don't I had some when we first got on here from Channel Six. The skip ain't been running real, real good this evening. I, I was going to talk some skip on 28 earlier and I didn't even try because it's just kind of wishy-washy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Damn, four. I had mine on 885 standing by because I knew y'all would be on here and I knew I'd lose track of time. <laughs> Guys, we've about got these pills down, and I'm tired. I don't want to take me a break. I might look over and see what I skipped while I was talking and not paying attention. That's pretty good to me. Yeah, so if you let any of these circuits right here run together or one little piece of solder, you've got problems. There's a piece. There's a piece. I'm gonna probably blow it off, wipe it off with the rag and all that. There she is. There's a piece. Y'all stand it up, blow it off, wipe it off. Take a paper towel and rub on it. Any solder splash, get that off there. Oh, look right there. 
That's why you gotta double check it. But I'll catch it when I put transformers down. Yeah, cancer's bad shit. Hope so too. I lost my dad to cancer. Alrighty guys, let me get this phone down here. Mm. Alrighty guys, I accidentally hit stop. That's okay, you'll never see it. I'll combine them. Uh, I got this phone down here and i let y'all see what's up. There's the donkey stone for work. And tell me, Blue Blue, what you think? If you think it's neat, if you think it looks bad, let me know. Eh, no, don't let me know. But there it is, guys. 64 pill. Transistors are soldered in. Soldered in, soldered in. Hello, come in. Looking sexy. All right, guys, I'm going to try to do the Transformers tomorrow night. I might do some repairs. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all watching, guys. Uh, y'all take care. Please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not a subscriber already. Please take time to join our membership. Uh, we sure would love to have you as a member. Giveaways, perks, and discounts. Check out our merch store. Get your shirt, hat. You know, all that good stuff. All right, guys. Appreciate your business. Appreciate your support. Appreciate everything. We know without you, Donkey Stomper wouldn't be here. Y'all take care. Your friend 10 0 one 8 Donkey Stomper. Bye-bye-bye.